besties welcome to a brand new week on top of making sure that we have ourselves a great day first thing we're gonna do is start day one of the april challenge by the bride shop i'm so excited honestly my body is just craving it i feel like fully rested i think you know the tiredness on the weekend that i've been dealing with is just definitely some overstimulation from the entire week on top of them like doing all of the other things for myself so i think it just makes sense that by the weekend time i'm just like so tired and you know i'm just doing my best i'm taking an entire day one of the days either saturday or sunday to just do absolutely nothing like i'm telling you guys saturday i was bored out of my mind because i did nothing but my body needed it now that we're back on the week i'm feeling ready it's go time i'm feeling recovered and i'm excited for this new challenge so i'm gonna bring you guys along for my week day one done great workout i ended up doing the penny bradshaw workout and then i followed it up with abs and then i also focused on legs and glutes today i ended up working out for 54 minutes burned 310 active calories and now i'm gonna go take a shower currently having my overnight oats I forgot to add chia seeds last night, so I added that, and then I added a little bit of the protein granola on top for that extra crunch. And then I'm also just uploading my video for today because it is Monday, so Motivational Monday video goes up today. Here, make yourself useful sugar. Cut, mince some onions. Okay, so I'm gonna make my mac and cheese. I couldn't go to the store. I, rather, I was too lazy to go to the store. So I'm just gonna use this queso quesadilla for my mac and cheese. What happened? How much onion do you want? One fourth cup of minced onion. So like, what's half of one fourth cup? What's half of one fourth? <laughs> oh, awkward. <laughs> Neither of us know. That's what Google's for. <laughs> Two tablespoons. So like, Neek, neek, that much. Two rounds of that. Go, Brenda. Go, Brenda. Yep. Mac and cheese is officially done. Let's go ahead and try it. Get a little bit of everything in here. I would say it doesn't have as much flavor this time. I think it's the cheese. Cause I use quesadilla cheese. What did you use last time? Last time I used the Think Fiesta mix cheese. Probably cause that one has cheddar. Yeah, this one definitely tastes like a quesadilla, a macaroni and cheese, but it's not bad. And then with the chicken, tastes good. I made it with my red lentil pasta, so I'm not gonna be super stuffed after this. I think I've come to the conclusion that I have a gluten intolerance. Every time I eat anything that has like gluten in it, my stomach feels like it's full, like overly full. Welcome to day number two. As you can see behind me here, today's workout is supposed to be a low impact and I was looking on Miss Penny Bradshaw's channel, but homegirl's not uploading the videos until 7, which kind of puts me at a little uh, 
setback because that means today's video goes up at seven which also means tomorrow's video goes up at seven which means i'm not going to be able to keep up with this so today's supposed to be low impact she actually has another low impact that i did the other day and it was very fun i think i'm just going to go ahead and do this one again today since today's supposed to be low impact and then tomorrow i think i'll like have to do another video maybe and then i think it can be back no that's the thing though i'm not gonna be able to do her video so well i think today we'll just figure it out we'll do that other low impact and then i'll think about it i might have to like be delayed instead of like on track with her we'll figure it out anyways today woke up feeling ready to go gonna take my pre-workout and get into the workout today for breakfast i think i'm gonna try to make myself a little breakfast sandwich i'm just kind of craving the heavy meal this morning so i'm excited for that i'm gonna get straight on my workout it is 5 41 so that way i have plenty of time to make that before work so switching the lights to red okay so I have about 10 minutes exactly to make myself a breakfast sandwich on the go. Also, can I just say I'm so sad that I will have to be retiring this outfit soon. Today is literally the last day I'm going to be able to wear it because the rest of the week and I think moving forward, it's going to be in the 80s. And I'm just not going to be able to wear this. This is the last day that I'm going to be able to wear this in 60 degree weather. So sad. I think today I'm going to go for two eggs. I'm feeling the need for extra protein. gonna be a pretty hefty breakfast but i'm excited though i'm craving something hefty i can just feel it in my body i thought it was natural strawberries but it's jam strawberries it's like oh for it you know <laughs> hey. I like it better without the, the strawberry filling. Without the what? What? Strawberry. I thought it was natural strawberries. Who ordered the strawberry jam? You did. I don't know. Ah. Who ordered the strawberry jam? It's canceled. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Que no te dé miedo comer más, más de la lechuga. 
Oh, aquí está un good chunk. Dame, 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 dame. Hay good chunk right here. Really good. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> My turn. Right down. Tastes like a corn dog. I just burn my fingers. Oh no. So it's quite a beautiful little stack here. The nachos are particularly bussin. Today's breakfast is made by my mom. I was running a little late, so I kind of asked if she could make me some papas with chorizo. So I'm having that and also doing a quick little protein shake. Hello everyone, it is now currently Wednesday. I am going to try to make myself the chicken salad that I was talking about on Friday, or was it Monday? Monday's video. So, I did go grocery shopping after work. I got the stuff that I needed to make the food, but I also picked up some other stuff. So first of all, I finally got the chocolate rice cakes. These are the ones that I love. They're a great little snack or little dessert too. I also picked up some milk because obviously always need some milk. I got a restock on my chocolate protein because obviously I use that more than anything. I got some of the Dave's Killer Bread so that I can have sandwiches and all of that good stuff. Picked up some bananas. I saw that they had these on sale. They allegedly expired today. So I picked them up because I just wanted a little bit of fruit so that I can pre-make some overnight oats. And I thought this was perfect because it has like not too much. It also has a mix of blueberries, which I've been wanting to try on overnight oats. And then I also picked up some of the Mexican cheddar jack cheese so that I can try remaking the macaroni. Can I say the macaroni actually slapped? And for some reason, it reheated very nicely. Like the second day I ate that, it was so good. But I want to try it with the cheddar jack instead of the quesadilla cheese. And then I also picked up my go-to little tortillas. These are just the extreme bonus ones. I was going to buy everything individually for the salad. But then I was like, that's going to be a waste low-key because I need a red cabbage. When am I going to use red cabbage again? Unless I make this, but otherwise it's going to go to waste. So I was like, all right, listen, I'm just going to pick this mix up. And we're going to call it a day. Really, the star of the show is the chicken. So this will do. Then I also did get some frozen peas and carrots for the chicken fried rice that I want to try to make. I don't know when I'm going to make it, but I got that. I also got this sweet chili sauce, which is supposed to be for the salad, but it's supposed to have lime. I don't know. I kind of was like, I'm just going to pick this up and I'll add lime and hopefully it's the right thing because that's supposed to be the dressing. So fingers crossed. Then I also picked up some premium fish sauce. I don't know if I like this, but this is also needed for my chicken salad, so we picked that up. And then I also got some little sea salt. I got a refill on my toothpaste. I got a refill on my lotion. I also picked up some 
Cliff chocolate chip bars. I've never had the Cliff bars. I remember there was a time where everyone was obsessed with Cliff bars, so I hope, fingers crossed, that these taste all right. I needed to get a snack for work because somebody ate all my snacks. I'm like, who ate all my snacks that only I have access to? And then also, I've been craving some guacamole. Remember, I want to try it with chips. We might try this while we're cooking because I'm a little hungry. So I'm going to put everything away real quick and then we'll get started on the little recipe. Okay, so it is time to start making the chicken. We're going to start off by creating the marinade. I'm going to start off with a marinade, really simple. Brown sugar and some fish sauce. And what we're doing here is we're creating the caramelization ourselves with the brown sugar. We're creating that umami flavor with the fish sauce. And then we're going to add a little bit of color with some dark soy sauce. I have to say this does not smell good at all. At all. I'm scared to eat it, but it's probably going to I mean, I hope it tastes good. I don't know. <laughs> On the bright side, though, I feel very fancy putting all of this together. Okay, now the next thing is to cut the chicken and marinate it. So I'm going to, like, slice these very thin so that they cook all the way through because I get scared to cook chicken. I get scared to eat chicken, period. I've actually been enjoying cooking recently i think it all comes down to the whole romanticizing thing right like is cooking enjoyable no like when i was at work i was thinking about how i wanted to come home and cook right because i wanted to try making these recipes but then i like would think too much about it and then i'm like honestly i'm kind of tired like i want to get home and i want to probably pass out or not do anything eat something quick and easy because just the thought of like having to cook something sounded like a lot but honestly now that i'm here and i'm like already in the mood to cook it's so enjoyable again i always talk about how it's always just the before part the part where you like think about doing something that's when you like talk yourself out of doing it but then once you actually start doing it you realize that it's not that bad Okay, I've changed my mind. It actually smells pretty good now that it's cooking. Okay, so while the chicken is cooking, let's try the chips and guac. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drop the mix into the bowl. Look at that, so pretty. And then the next thing is we're gonna do the sweet chili sauce. <clears throat> okay, hold on a second. I don't know how to feel about this. This looks so different. So we're gonna add some lime juice. We'll do like one, I guess two. veg all mixed up and sort of coated with the dressing first. So I went ahead and mixed everything up. So this little mix has baby spinach, carrots, baby lettuce blend, baby greens blend, and radicchio. Whatever that is. I don't know. So my chicken's not gonna be as juicy because homegirl is scared of salmonella, so she cooked that thing real good. Okay, hold on a second. Like this actually looks so beautiful. But maybe I shouldn't talk too soon because I gotta try it first, right? Okay, let's let's give this a go. Okay, we'll mix a little bit of everything and then we'll grab a chicken. Okay. 
I'm gonna cry. That's actually so good. What in the world? It's delicious. It's it's sweet, it's savory with the chicken. It has a great taste. I'm telling you guys, it did not smell that delicious. It's all the questionable. It's so good though, oh my God. And it's a little bit of spicy. Oh. Mm. I'm proud, I'm proud. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Dinner was so delicious. I will link it down below for you guys if you guys wanna try it. Also, if I ever like do a recipe and it looks interesting to you, let me know and I can drop the recipe. I just don't know sometimes if like people care. Um, I need to actually <laughs> refix my board. While I was looking on Penny's channel, I'm like, why isn't she releasing these videos? Because we're on day three, but she only has two new videos up. And then I thought to myself, like maybe homegirl's on her own schedule or something, I don't know. But <laughs> really, I made an oopsies. So she's not releasing a new video every single day. She's releasing a new video like every, like pretty much every other day. So every other day, there's going to be like a video that she recommends from a video she already released, if that makes sense. Huh? So like a video she already has, like not a new video. And here I was thinking she was dropping a new video every single day, which is cool though, you know? She's, re she's using her, her playlist and everything. It's just that I was a little confused. So I'm gonna re-refix this so I can follow her schedule. Can I just say that I'm very grateful that I took the time to go grocery shopping and to cook myself a delicious meal because I actually very much enjoyed going to the grocery store. I just walked around, I enjoyed the time there. And then I came back home, I enjoyed putting my groceries away. And then I enjoyed the cooking process. I enjoyed eating it. I'm grateful to myself for doing all of those things, for choosing to do all of those things. I was feeling a little overstimulated from work, but as soon as I walked out those doors, I said, I'm leaving this all behind and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night. And so I did.